Hi friends, this is Mehta from CAD CAM tutorial. In our last tutorial, we created this body for for clip. So now let's we can uh, we will make a roof for this body or cabin you can say. So let's start. Select this portion, click sketch. Select normal, choose line, and we will draw one from this center. We will try to create one roof. Try to choose center point. Okay. Exit from the line. Now select this line. Shift. This line make parallel. Okay. <coughs> Now assign dimension. Choose top uh, top dimension. And thousand mm from top to the vertical distance. Keep twelve hundred mm. This is quite better. Now I exit from the sketch. Now go to weld melt, and we want to create a structure by a U tube. So let's start. Go to weld mat. Select structural member. Okay. Now choose ISO. Type choose rectangle tube. We want to create our structure by rectangle tube. Size keep 70 by 40 into 5 mm thickness and group. We want select these all lines. Okay. Now this uh, structure created. Now select this point. We want joints like this. End bud. Click OK. No, we want joint like this. Click OK. Now go to down and choose degree ninety degree. OK. Now select locate profile. Now we want to locate our profile path. This is center, but we don't want center. Just select this corner. Okay. Now see, this is our path, not center, because if we will keep in center, so it will comes out. So this is better. now click okay now we will assign color select structural member choose paint uh, we will assign black but this too much dark so again structure choose paint this middle okay Okay this paint is better Now we will make it now see this is not perfectly rest on the body so we want to rest it perfectly so just go to weld melt and select trim and extend Now we will choose this body select surface this surface now see it's perfectly met okay Now the same as another part portion here also it's not weld perfectly so choose trim extend choose body and select surface now this is also perfectly extended okay now we want to mirror it so go to feature choose mirror choose right plane and select all these three bodies okay now this is mirror now select on the top click sketch click normal now we want to draw on vertical uh, tube structure so just choose line just uh, choose body center choose this center point 
this is a tube center from this center okay now exit it again choose line and from here choose outside center to outside center exit from the line exit from the structure see which we just choose outside of the structure and this is the center of the now we will create one top side of uh, <coughs> now select go to weld melt select a structural member and choose this line keep a standard iso rectangle to 70 by 40 mm now we will select profile profile should be match click okay now select trim choose body and select plane click ok now this is welded to this plane now the same as we will do for another <coughs> choose a structural the schemes all that thing same 70 by 40 mm into 5 choose line now locate the profile locate this end now this is perfectly match click ok select trim choose body for surface choose one end and another end click ok now this is met color keep as uh, uh, black for both color black so choose top a sketch click on normal and choose line and draw one center line in between these tubes search a midpoint of this tube this is the midpoint okay exit from the line now exit from the sketch now go to weld melt and select a structural member <coughs> keep everything same rectangle tube 70 by 40 choose group choose this line now go to down and locate profile uh, locate this profile from top portion this is better click ok now this is our uh, tube fixed now we will draw some from this portion select this plane and click X sketch and draw one rectangle corner rectangle and we want to draw one rectangle ok assign dimension keep 10 mm now assign dimension from one end to another end keep 75 mm 
now go to extruded boss and we want to extrude up to next so choose up to next click ok this is quite better now we want to mirror select linear pattern choose any axis ok and choose this on 115 mm distance and keep 10 ok now see the 10 pieces are created now go to direction 2 choose another uh, axis ok keep this distance 510 mm make it reverse and keep two numbers uh, no make it this direction ok this is quite better 510 mm click ok now see our roof is created this is our forklift cabin roof so we want to change the colors you can change it as what we did in our last uh, choose pattern shift structure and we will assign color black ok uh, it's I think much more darker we will select little ok now this is better this is our forklift roof it is somehow created uh, still some work is balanced we will see in our next tutorial keep watching and this is the tutorial uh, forklift body please subscribe and see all the tutorial videos related to SOLIDWORKS thank you for watching okay.